Hello folks, I've been inundated with emails from lots and lots of people about one thing, and that thing is moths. You've asked me to talk today about basically some of the most simple ways to eradicate moths. Where and how do moths get into your wardrobe? Well, would you believe that 75% of moths get in at night through the window? and basically they fly in, it's hot outside, we leave the windows open. I've also been told and asked to say where moths come from in the main. Is it the kitchen? Is it the bathroom? Is it behind doors? Well, they do hide out in all these places, but basically 70% of cases come through the wardrobes. You get about 15% of the moths that you're going to find will come into the bathroom, would you believe? And there's a further 10% in various other parts in the house. And they go for carpet. They love carpet. They love clothes. Why, do you ask, have moths arrived this year and last year more than any other year? Well, there's a very simple reason for that. Moths are coming to our shores because we are wearing much, much more natural fabrics. We're wearing more natural cottons, we're wearing more natural wools. It's very simple to sort this out because the number one way we can solve moths is not by buying loads of products, it's very simply we effectively hoover the infiltrated area and by that thorough vacuuming will get rid of initially any signs of moths but we've got to stop them from doing any further damage and then we've got to assess where those moths are because are they bathroom moths are they kitchen moths or are they wardrobe moths now we've got to determine initially where the moths are is it bathroom kitchen or wardrobe I'll start off if I may in the kitchen to eradicate your kitchen moths they basically like to eat and they predominantly eat wheat and anything like that so this is a perfect solution you put this in the kitchen and they work incredibly well and this will stop and eradicate your moths in the kitchen we move on to bathroom moths now bathroom moths similar problem to your wardrobes can be eradicated very simply and what I would do here in your bathroom, because of the dampness, I would hang a simple cedar ball, which is very, very simple to operate. Take the outer wrapping off it, rotate it, smell it to make sure you've opened it up, and basically hang that somewhere nice in the bathroom, maybe over a cabinet or something, and that should eradicate, if you put a couple of these in your bathroom, your bathroom moth. Great solution. What do we do to eradicate those moths in the, mord in the wardrobe? A good spray, a good lavender spray, or a good cedar spray, or indeed cedar infused with lavender can work incredibly well. We do these, it's a woodlaw spray, it's very, very good. We use these a lot. I think, however, the best results have been had so far on testing that we've done from two products. Now, the first is the clothes moth traps because you want to get the problem out of your wardrobe and this will do that this will take those moths that are in your wardrobe and eliminate them initially and just get them out now remember at this same time when you're doing this it's very very useful and it's something to be aware of moths tend to inhabit clothes and if you can create a barrier to the moths getting into those clothes, it's very, very good. So what we recommend strongly at Carousel is, basically, you take something like a Piva suit cover or a Piva dress cover, you put your suit or your dress in that, and that will create an additional barrier to stop that moth from getting in once you've cleansed the moth problem from your wardrobe. Put a couple of morphia strips inside the actual garments themselves and it does wonders and it keeps these animals away. If you want a stronger solution, and this is one of the strongest we can operate with, it's called a hanging moth proofer. It's made by a firm we use called Zensect. 
and basically you hang this and it's got an indicator in it of how potent it is so you can actually check. I also recommend these these are the new modern mothball now these ones are fab because what they do they start off life as orange and when you've opened them up and you've stuck them in the garment and they're used up they go white simple as that and last but by no means least um, I've been asked to make comments on cedar because of the epidemic of moths. How, how does cedar affect the moth? Well, moths don't like cedar. They don't like cedar wood. And what we suggest and recommend as a long-term solution is always keep a bit of cedar in your wardrobe. So either a cedar hang-up, a cedar um, ring, or if you've got lingerie, um, boxer shorts, underpants, whatever, t-shirts, just put a few of these cedar products in your drawers in order to keep those moths out of those drawers. So just a few ideas in how to eradicate the infestation we're all currently going through with moths. Hope you have a pleasant summer. Thank you. Bye-bye.